This is Dave Espenscheid, a Microsoft CRM Certified Consultant with Customer Dynamics. A very powerful feature of CRM 2011 is its integration with Outlook. You are likely already familiar with how to do your work in Outlook, so CRM for Outlook is easy to use. You have the power of CRM without having to open up another program. We'll first review how to uninstall an old CRM for Outlook client, then we'll review how to download and install CRM 2011 for Outlook. The first step to installing CRM 2011 for Outlook is to uninstall any old CRM for Outlook clients. For example, in the past you may have been using CRM 4.0 and installed the CRM 4.0 for Outlook client. We'll need to get that uninstalled. To do so, go to your start menu, select the control panel, and select Programs and Features. From here, you may do a search for CRM. In this case, you'll see that I have Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 for Microsoft Office Outlook installed. If this were CRM 4.0, then I'd want to uninstall it. Again, if you've not been using CRM 4.0 for Outlook, then you don't need to uninstall anything. The next step is to download CRM 2011 for Outlook. To do so, open up Internet Explorer, and you can do a search for CRM 2011 for Outlook. The first non-sponsored result is the appropriate link. You'll see you have two options, a 64-bit client and a 32-bit client. There are a couple ways to tell what bit system you're using. It's important to use the same bit client as your system, otherwise the client will not work. In Outlook, you can go to the File tab and in the Help section, see here that I'm using a 64-bit version of Outlook. Also, from the Start menu, I can right-click on Control on Computer select properties and see that again I'm running a 64-bit operating system. So in this case I'll download the 64-bit client. We'll go ahead and save the file and then we can run the installation. Most of the CRM for Outlook installation process is very simple. Simply follow the prompts and click Next. When the installation is complete, you'll be prompted to restart your computer. Once you have installed CRM for Outlook, CRM for Outlook should automatically run, displaying this window. If it does not, you may run the configuration wizard. Let's leave that here. If you are having problems running the configuration wizard, make sure that Windows is up to date. You'll be prompted to put in your organization's URL. And you'll test the, the connection. You'll be prompted to put in your credentials. and click OK. From here, the configuration wizard will allow you to select your organization and the display name, the name that you'll see in CRM, and click OK. The configuration wizard will take care of the rest. Once the configuration wizard has finished initializing, you may open up Outlook and you'll see the organization is now part of Outlook. In this lesson, we've reviewed how to install CRM for Outlook. See our other lessons to learn more about actually using CRM within Outlook.